What is up YouTube? Josh here from Game Hunters R Us, back with another Gaming Grabs video. I honestly didn't think I was going to have enough to make up a Gaming Grabs video for a couple of weeks. Um, but with my luck, of course, uh, not that I'm complaining, things just didn't work out that way. So, between uh, doing exams and assignments and all these other kind of other crap that I have to do with school and life, um, I did manage to get up to the thrift shops and get some stuff. Um, I got some stuff at EV Games and uh, Kijiji Deals as well. Um, so bear with me, I got quite a few things to show you, uh, but I do hope you all enjoy. And if you are watching this on the Thanksgiving weekend, happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you're having a wonderful time with your family, in which case you should stop watching this video and go spend time with your family and watch me when you have some time. Um, but uh, if you're not with your family, then uh, let's jump right into this. Um, so the very first thing I got, um, I guess since my last pickup video, went to a Goodwill and I found a Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man uh, plug and play type deal. Uh, pretty cool. This is actually the more rare, the more desirable or rare version of this that you want. There's another Namco one, uh, but this one's pretty cool. This is my second one of these, so I'm probably going to try to flip that and get some money back. Also there they had two Xbox 360 games and everything at Goodwill is $5 a piece. So I got the very first uh, Medal of Honor limited edition, uh, and yes, I, I know it's not a great game, but I still want to play it. And along with that, the Medal of Honor Warfighter. Uh, again, I still know this isn't a good game, <laughs> but still want to play it. Call me sadistic, I guess, or masochist, whatever you want to call it. Not masochist, whatever. Narcissist? One of those ist words. Um, and as many as you know, I got a uh, 3DS, but before I got the 3DS, I knew I was going to have to get some games for it. So I walked into a GameStop and I got uh, the Super Smash Brothers on the 3DS um, day one. I actually walked to the EB Games and they had piles of these sitting in the back. And this was near the end of the day as well. So uh, I, I said to the guy, well, you guys have a lot. And they said, yeah, head office made sure we were well stocked. Um, which I think is just a fluke. I went to an EB Games that I don't normally go to, and it's kind of off in the middle of nowhere. Um, so I think a lot of people forgot that EB Games even existed. So that's why they had so many left, because I know a ton of other EB Games and GameStops sold out of this game. So I got lucky, I guess. Uh, while I was there, I looked at their used DS games, and I saw Geometry Wars Galaxies for the DS, uh, and this was $4. Um, I, am, I do like the Geometry Wars um, arcade games on Xbox Live, uh, so this is just a way to take it portable. It's pretty decent. It's not it's not great, but it's not bad either. Definitely worth the four dollars I spent on it. Uh, this game I'm really excited about it. I actually posted this on um, the Game Hunters R Us Facebook page, uh, which brings me to my next point. Uh, if you haven't checked out our Facebook the yeah, Facebook page, uh, be sure to do that. The link is down in the description. Uh, check it out. Give it a like. I'm gonna put stuff there that I don't normally post. Um, normally uh, it's also a way for me to interact with you guys on a more personal level um, and you'll be able to see some of the stuff I pick up during the week rather, rather than have to wait for a pickup video um, like this. This I posted on the website or on the Facebook page uh, and that is Battletoads on the NES. Yes, I finally have Battletoads. <laughs> uh, this popped up on a Kijiji uh, ad. The guy wanted 20 bucks for it and that's about what it goes for. It's a little expensive maybe. Uh, but honestly, I've been wanting this game for so long, uh, I decided just to spring for it, and I I, pay, I ponied up the money and gave it to him. Really happy to get that. Um, if I happen to find, get another copy in the future, then I will have two, or I will make good use of both of them. They definitely will not go to waste. Um, after that, I basically got nothing from the thrift shops for a very long time. Um, I went a couple of times, and the only thing I managed to get was uh, Sonic Mega Collection Plus on the PS2. Uh, and that's not very exciting. It's in a generic like DVD case, it's not even that great. But I mean, it is complete and it is in good shape, so it'd be good for trading or whatever with it. Um, next, I saw this guy. Um, I sold my modded Xbox to a guy on Kijiji locally who actually doesn't live that far away from me. Um, and we've kind of sent text messages back and forth a few times. Nothing. <clears throat> Nothing relationship status wise or anything like that, but you know it, it's it's a beginning of a good I don't know networking uh, 
networking tool, I guess you could say. Uh, anyways, I, re I responded to an ad on Kijiji, and it turns out to be the guy that bought the modded Xbox off of me. Um, but he had a couple of Super Nintendo games that I was interested in. Uh, and Ben also wanted one, but I will let Ben show that one. Um, the two that I were interested in that were uh, Toy Story on the NES and Batman Forever on the Super Nintendo. I know this is a terrible game, but I think it's so terrible that it's it's so uniquely terrible that I have I have to play it and I have to have it, I guess. Um, but really, really happy to get those. Those were five bucks each, so I mean, Super Nintendo games for five bucks each. You can't go wrong with that. Um, the game that uh, Ben bought uh, is one that he's been looking for for a while, uh, and he can show that uh, in the future. But I will show you. I bought a, a game off him, and that was uh, Donkey Kong 3, Dixie Kong, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. Uh, so I got that off of him, off of Ben. Really happy to get that. Uh, and then, of course, many of you know I got a Wii U on special um, at Target on clearance for $150. If you want to see the whole kind of mess that went along with that, uh, check out my uh, Josh's Wii U Quest video as well. That was pretty cool. Uh, I had a lot of fun, actually, that night. It was kind of stressful, but it, it ended up being totally worth it. So uh, I've been on the lookout for getting some Wii games. and. Um, yeah, so this one popped up, popped up on that uh, Facebook group uh, that also alerted me to the Target clearance sale. Uh, one of the guys on there was selling uh, this game for $20, so I figured I would snag it. It's going for like $30, $35 in uh, GameStops or whatever, so I figured I'd grab it now. And it's new Super Luigi Bros, or Super Luigi U. Yeah, new Super Luigi U. Of course, I'm on a uh, Nintendo console. I've got to have a Mario Bros related uh, game, platform, or whatever. Uh, so really happy to get that. Um, yeah, oh man, guys, there's so much stuff, I'm trying to keep it all straight in my head. Um, I think that was about it I got for a, a, quite a while, and then I got uh, this, obviously, I got this on uh, Friday, on October 10th, uh, the 3DS uh, NES edition. I did an unboxing of this as well, which is my last video, so check that out. You can see the whole console in detail. Uh, very happy with the system though uh, and of course what comes along with buying a new system is that you need to get games for your system so uh, other than having uh, Super Smash Brothers already uh, this is the only other game I'm really super excited to play and uh, don't judge me here but it's Mario Tennis uh, I actually I absolutely love Mario Tennis especially on the N64 and GameCube um, that I couldn't wait to get this one and I'm really excited to play with a couple of my friends online uh, so if you have this game and you want to play online, uh, let me know. Um, that's the other thing I want to say. If you're if you want to play online with me, um, not that I'm any good at any of these games except for maybe Mario Tennis, uh, just personal message me your uh, friend code and uh, we can exchange that way. Just so that the, the comments aren't flooded with friend codes if you if you do want to find people to play with. But if you're so inclined to put it on there, then sure. Um, yeah, that's about it. But uh, I suck at Super Smash Bros, so if you want to be really good and, uh, and beat me at that game, that's cool too. Uh, Mario Tennis, you're going to have your work cut out for you. I do plan on getting Mario Kart 7 at some point, and I'll probably be pretty decent with that. So, uh, but anyways, yes, that, uh, moving on. I got, um, while I was there, I decided to look around. I, I, tr I posted an ad on GG looking for this game used. I knew my chances were pretty slim because of what it is, so I just decided to go ahead and buy it new at yeah, GameStop, and that's uh, Mario Kart 8. Uh, really looking forward to playing this game. I've got a few friends on the Wii U already uh, who want to play this, such as BC Retro Gamer and uh, Widow Brother wants to play with this as well. As well. Um, again, if you want to play this, um, send me your Nintendo ID, and I will add you. Um, and if I have added you already, then make sure to go and accept the friend request. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was it for a um, couple of days, I guess, two days has this been? Uh, and today I decided to go out, um, and this worked out really well. I actually went out to get a haircut, um, which I obviously didn't get. Uh, if you wonder why I wear a hat all the time, it's not because I love the Blue Jays, which I do, but my hair is just in like in a perpetual state of disarray that I just decided to cover it and not show anybody. So. <laughs> 
I decided to actually go out and fix the problem, but um, yeah, that just didn't happen. There was just way too long a line. But uh, luckily, Goodwill is right across the street from there, so I decided to hop in there and have a look around. First thing that caught my eye was Soul Calibur Legends on the Wii. Uh, again, not like a super rare title or anything, but kind of cool to have. And it is complete and everything. This is a little scratched up, but uh, it should play fine. Um, and I was gonna like cut my luck at that point, cut my cut my losses. Figured that was gonna be it. And uh, as I was kind of walking around through the store, I saw a cart go up towards the front with some books on it. And I know the books and DVDs and games and stuff were all in the same area, so I kind of you know wandered my way back up there and had a look. And sure enough, there were some sealed games on there. Um, the first one, I mean, we can debate all day if this counts as sealed, but around here I think it does. And it's uh, Ratchet Deadlocked, and this is what we call Canadian Sealed. Uh, you can just tell it's been like shrink-wrapped again. Uh, and what they do with this is they take games from the States, and they open them up, and they put in uh, French manuals, and they slap a bilingual cover around the end, and then they shrink-wrap the whole thing back together. Uh, so it, it is new, it's just, it's just been opened and put French stuff in, I guess. Uh, <laughs> But, I figured I'd grab it. This isn't like, actually a game you see around too lot around here. So, I figured I'd pick that one up. Uh, and next there are some PlayStation 1 games. I haven't, got, I haven't found PlayStation 1 games in such a long time. They're not something that easily pops up. So, when I saw these and I saw they were factory sealed, I was even more ecstatic. Um, now, I'm probably not going to keep these. I'm not really a collector of sealed games. Um, but I figured I would grab them, and again, like all this was, this was five bucks, and these were all five dollars, and they might seem a bit expensive, um, but uh, it all turned out in the end anyway. The first one I got was Test Drive Six, and I don't know if you can see, there's still plastic wrap on there, still a label on the top. It's got the hang tab at the back still, or if you can see that. So uh, that was really cool. I do like the Test Drive series. The Test Drive Off Road has been is one of my favorite series ever. Uh, Asteroids, really cool. Actually, I do like this game. It's a lot of fun. Again, sealed. There's a hang tab on the back. So yeah. And this one is Bust a Groove, sealed along the top. Now, when everything came up as five bucks a piece, I was like a little worried about it because, I mean, that's what. 5, 10, 15, that's $25 I spent on all this stuff. I was like, man, I don't, I think I spent too much money on this, on all these crap games that might just sit around, but I figured, you know, the, re the, the sealed ones I could maybe flip and make a bit of money on. Um, I came home and checked them out on eBay, and I was pleasantly surprised with one of the games, and it was not one that you would think you would be surprised on. And they had one left there that was NHL, so I just left that one. Um, I looked, this is... This is worth a lot of money, <laughs> and there's only one other sealed one um, on Kijiji, actually I think there's two right now on eBay, and they're going for about $140, um, with like $50 and $60 shipping, so I mean, I paid 5 bucks for this, and that's just, just unbelievable. Um, and this was one that I was even debating, like when I was in cash, I'm just like, man, this is going to cost me $25, maybe I should put one of these games back. Um, but really, really glad I didn't. I mean, you can go check out yourself. Um, there's not a whole lot of these that have sold brand new, so... Um, again, I don't plan on, on keeping this. It's not really a game I'm ter terribly interested in playing, and I could use the money a whole lot more than I could use this game, so... That will definitely be going up, um, I guess, local Kijiji first, and then give that a week or two, and then I'll put it up on eBay. So... Yeah! Um... And I thought that was going to be it, that was today as well. Um, I went on uh, Kijiji when I came home, and I saw a strange ad. And I wasn't sure if I believed it, but I sent the guy an email inquiring about it. And he, I got back to me like within half an hour saying, yep, this is still available. Um, so I went to his house and I picked it up. And it is a Sega Saturn. This is my third Sega Saturn that I picked up. And it's in really good shape. Um, he had a power cord with it, and he said, uh, Sega Saturn console, power cord, $10. Uh, so I wasn't going to let that slip by, so I figured I would I'd go over there and grab it. I took an extra set of uh, video cables over with me. 
Uh, we tried it out and I took a game over and tried it out there and sure enough it works just fine. So I'm going to throw in my extra um, coaxial cable with it and then probably sell that off and make a bit of money back on it. So really, really random, couldn't believe it. Uh, while I was there, and I mean it wasn't a really a nice house so I was kind of trying to get in and get out as fast as I could. But uh, he had some retro stuff laying around. He's just like, are you interested in anything else? And he pulls out a stack of NES games. He said, these are all for sale too. Uh, so I looked through them, and most of them are pretty common. Most of them, I already have them over here. So, uh, But these two I didn't have, and I was really interested to grab them. Uh, the first one is To the Earth. NES. This is, I think, a light gun game. Uh, so I'll have to hook that up to my, uh, my old school TV to play that one. Uh, pretty cool about that. And the second one is Gauntlet 2 on the NES. Uh, really cool. This is apparently even better than the first one. So I'm really excited to play that. Especially multiplayer would be fun too. Um, he originally had $10 on that and $5 on that. Uh, and I basically just pulled out a 10 bucks and say, I'll give you 10 for these right now, cash. And he said, sure. And so he took it. Uh, so yeah, 10 bucks for both of those. Um, so yeah, as you can see, this has been a busy week. Um, I don't know where my luck has been for most of it. Uh, I did pick up a few more games retail than I probably should have, but honestly they're games that I know I want to play, especially with friends online, which I think is the best thing ever. Um, I also had a gaming PC donate to, donated to me by one of Andrew's friends. Uh, he got an old computer, he had a new computer and I got his old one, and his old one is, is about as good as any of my other friends PCs, I mean it has an i7 in it. 1000 watt power supply, 16 gigs of RAM, it's got so much stuff in it. So that's going to be my primary gaming PC. I put all my Steam games on there. Um, it's better than running it off my crappy laptop. So uh, see, that's hooked up permanently to my TV. That's will be my, my primary gaming PC. Uh, so really excited to play that as well. So everything just kind of worked out this week. Uh, I'm really grateful for everything that I managed to pick up, especially I mean, surprises like Buster Groove. Like, go figure on that one. So, um, anyways, that is it. Thank you very much for sticking around. Uh, don't forget to check out the Facebook page. Uh, also, Game Players R Us is down there as well. I mean, with um, Ben and I both having PS4s, we've been playing together and we've been sharing a bit, and uh, we even do some live streams on uh, on Twitch. So, if you want to check that out as well, um, we announced that on the Facebook page if we're if we're twitching. <laughs> so. Um, that is everything. Again, thanks so much for sticking around. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you guys next time.